This is Mrs. Appia with Lesson 8 from Module 4, Percent Error Problems. Student outcomes from this lesson. Given the exact value of a quantity and an approximate, estimated, or measured value of that quantity, students compute percent error. Students understand the meaning of the percent error as the percent the absolute error is of the exact value. The absolute error is the difference between the actual value and the measured value. The absolute error can be found by subtracting the exact amount from the approximate amount. The approximate amount is also called an estimate or the measured value. The percent error is the percent the absolute error is of the exact value, and that can be found using this formula. Percent error is equal to the approximate amount minus the exact amount divided by the exact amount, and then to convert that to a percent, multiply by 100. Pause the video and copy the essential question for Lesson 8. What is the formula for percent error? Notice the TV on the right side of the screen. What size is your TV? How is the TV measured? Well, did you know that a TV is measured on the diagonal? And this is a 15-inch TV. So we see that Taylor, Connor, and Jordan have measured this TV, and each of them measured it two times. Taylor measured the first time and got 15 and 2 eighths inch. The second time he measured, he got 15 and 3 eighths inch. So what we're going to do here in example one is to find out how far off their measurements are. So we're going to find the absolute error for the following problems and explain what the absolute error means in the context. So recall from the previous page that the absolute error is simply the difference between what the measurement is compared to what the measurement was taken by the person. So the formula for absolute error is given here. It's the approximate value minus the exact amount. And we are not concerned whether the answer is positive or negative. If it's positive, that means that the approximation was too big, and it's negative, then the approximation was too small. But we are only concerned with how far off the estimate is. Since we are not concerned about whether it is positive or negative, we'll be finding the absolute value of the difference. So if you recall, the absolute value symbol is a bar be, um, surrounding the equation. So our absolute value, the approximate measurement for Taylor's first measurement was 15 and 2 eighths. So we have 15 and 2 eighths, and then we take away the exact amount. And the exact amount, according to the um, company who makes these TVs, is this is a 15-inch monitor. So you subtract to find the difference, the absolute value, and the difference between these two values is 2 eighths inch. Connor's measurement was 15 and 4 eighths, so the absolute error is equivalent to the approximate or measured amount, 15 and 4 eighths, minus the exact amount, which is 15 inches. So we want the absolute value of that difference. And the difference is 4 eighths inch. And then we want Jordan's measurement 2. So Jordan's measurement 2 is from the second column, and it is 14 and 6 eighths. So the absolute error is simply the difference between the actual amount and the measured amount. So the measured amount is 14 and 6 eighths minus 15. Now, that does give you a negative number, but because we want the absolute value, we consider it a positive number. So the absolute value of the difference is 2 eighths or one-fourth. And then it said, explain what the absolute error means in this context. So taking a look at Taylor's measurement, this means that Taylor is off by one-quarter inch, because two-eighths simplifies to one-quarter. For Connor, Connor is off by a half inch. And Jordan's measurement 
is off by a quarter inch. So notice that Taylor and Jordan are both off by a quarter inch, but Taylor has overestimated and Jordan has underestimated. In example two, how right is wrong? We're going to be finding the percent error, which is not a measurement, but a percent the error is of the actual measurement. So let's go and look at the formula for that. The percent error is equal to the approximate value minus the exact value divided by the exact value. And then we multiply that by 100 to convert it to a percent. So to find the percent error for Taylor's measurement, her percent error is equal to the approximate amount, which is the measured amount that she measured. So we have 15 and 2 eighths minus the exact amount, which is 15. And we take the absolute value of that, and then we divide it by the exact amount, which is 15. So that gives us a quarter inch, which is the 2 eighths, divided by 15, and then we multiply that by 100 to get our percent error. The answer that I got is 1.6 repeating. So that is 1 and 2 thirds percent for our percent of error. I would recommend that you actually go through this calculation on your calculator so that you can see how we get from one step to the next. So, um, part E. For example, one part B, find the percent error for Connor's measurement one. And what does this mean? So, for Connor, it is percent error is the difference between his measurement and the actual measurement. So we have the absolute value of 15 and 4 eighths minus 15 divided by 15 times 100. So we have 4 eighths divided by 15 times 100. So go ahead and calculate that answer. And we see that this answer is 3 and 1 third percent. So you can see that Connor has um, a higher percentage error than Taylor does. And that means that Taylor was a lot closer with her estimate than Connor was. So Taylor was off by 1 and 2 thirds percent. And Connor is off by 3 and 1 third percent. And the significance of that is that the smaller the percent error, the closer it is to accurate. So you want a very small percent error. The smaller the better. From example one, part C, find the percent error for Jordan's measurement two. So Jordan's measurement two was 14 and 6 eighths. So we have the absolute value of the estimated amount, 14 and 6 eighths, minus the actual amount of 15, divided by 15 times 100. So when we do this part right here and we subtract, we get a negative 2 eighths. The absolute value of that is 2 eighths. And you can either use 2 eighths or a 1 fourth. So 2 eighths divided by 15 times 100. Take a moment and do that problem on your calculator. And we see that the answer is 1 and 2 thirds percent. So what I want you to notice here is that Taylor's measurement was an overestimate, and her percent error was 1 and 2 thirds percent. And Jordan's measurement was an underestimate, but by the same time. So they actually have the same percent error. So Jordan is off by 1 and 2 thirds percent. So what is the purpose of finding the percent error? Well, an error of one centimeter is very small when measuring the distance for a marathon, which is 26 miles. But an error of one centimeter is very large if you are a heart surgeon. 
So knowing the absolute error is not necessarily useful, but the percent error is useful because it tells you how big your error is compared to the true error. We're going to skip exercises one through three, and we're going to go down to the lesson. In this lesson, you have learned the absolute error is the magnitude of the difference between the approximate value and the exact value. It tells you how far away in units the approximate value is from the exact value. The percent error is the percent that the absolute error is of the exact value. So our absolute value equation is the measured amount minus the exact amount. And remember, the measured amount can also be called the approximate amount or the estimated amount. The percent error is the estimated minus the actual. And remember to use the absolute value for that so that we have a positive difference divided by the actual amount. And then we multiply that by 100 in order to convert it to a percent. 